Last week I posted this tweet and it kind of got viral. People started asking me how do we start with freelancing and what was my entire journey like. So in this video I will be sharing the entire roadmap of how I started earning my college's average annual package as my monthly revenue. This will be a value packed video with actionable points and my entire journey laid out right in front of you. So it all started with the dream of getting into an IIT or an NIT. So just like any other engineering student, I started preparing for my JEE exams. No one can stop this revolution. Unfortunately, I did not get into an IIT, but still got admissions in NIT Sri Nagar. The entire story of why I left NIT Sri Nagar, came back to Mumbai, and why I took admission over here is shared in this particular video, so you can go check it out. But after that, I saw myself surrounded with people who were very much interested in academics. They wanted to secure the best placements or wanted to go for higher studies. That was their main goal and right from their first year itself, whatever they used to do, they used to see if it's coming on their CV or not. Me on the other hand just wanted to learn new things. I had decided right in my first year that I won't be setting for placements. I'll start learning new skills, I'll start developing myself so much that I don't need to sit in placements and that is exactly what is happening right now. So the next thing that I did was I started learning about mobile app development. Now I had certain ideas in mind of what type of apps I want to build and I started working on those projects. Along with this, the best thing that I did was share my journey over on social media. Now I was not active on YouTube back then, but I still posted every single thing that I did on my Instagram or even on Twitter. Instagram definitely helped me a lot. Many people think that because they don't have a lot of followers, they don't have a lot of subscribers, no one will even care about the content that they're posting. But that is not true. What matters is your content should reach the right audience. The reason why I'm saying this is because when I started posting about my app development journey on Instagram and LinkedIn and Twitter, I got my first freelancing client from there. They gave me a project to develop their mobile application and I started right off with it. To be honest, I didn't even know the entire concept of freelancing until then. But I kept on with it and the one thing that made me different from other freelancers was that I would go the extra mile to satisfy my customers or satisfy my clients. I was making sure that any new changes or any new revisions that they want were being incorporated. With that, I also saw a lot of people wanting web development services. So I started learning about that as well. So mobile app development was done, web development was done. What was remaining was blockchain. So we come over to my second year. That's where the actual earning started. So in my second year, I started learning about blockchain development and I started posting a lot of content on YouTube as well. Now here I want to teach you a concept of marketing funnels and that is something that I understood when I got a lot of new clients from my social media. So a marketing funnel in simple terms is basically how you convert your clients. So say for example, at the top of my marketing funnel would be my social media platforms, right? So for example, YouTube, Instagram and all of these other platforms would be at the top of my marketing funnel. That's where I get the most amount of audience to watch my content and that is completely for free. Now because I share so much valuable content on my social media platforms, it gets a lot of eyeballs. And once it gets eyeballs, I then convert these people to come over my newsletter. Newsletters are extremely important because these are your potential needs and your potential clients. Posting content on different social media platforms might or might not reach your audience because that depends on the platform's algorithms. But when you send out a newsletter, it is for sure going to reach their email addresses. Now the third level of the marketing funnel consists of the things that you are selling. Things which will actually generate revenue for you. And that's where my freelancing services or even my courses come into play. People who want to get in-depth knowledge about a certain topic buy my courses. People who want services, for example, they want to develop a mobile application or a web application. They want to develop a blockchain application, whatever the service might be, they can contact me directly through my email. 
Another thing that I did was when I started posting a lot of content on YouTube, I used to get sponsorship deals. Now, whenever I used to get these sponsorships, I was directly in contact with the marketing team of all of these brands. Now, I realized that these brands do not have a really good social media presence and they lack in that deal. So what did I do? I started my own marketing agency. Now, this was around two years back and uh, the marketing agency was specifically focused on social media management. It is called Waterman and Gang and it is still active. We have a lot of clients. We've worked with Binance, we've worked with Coin ECX, we've worked with some of the biggest clients. Now, of course, I couldn't handle all of these things by myself. So we hired up a team. We've got amazing video editors, graphic designers, even people who manage social media and all of these different things. Now, of course, when I say the story, it looks like everything was smooth and everything just started working right as a puzzle piece. But it was not that way. I had faced a lot of problems when it came to hiring people. I faced a lot of problems when it came to scaling up my agency. Getting the first few clients is really easy. But after that, after a point of time, it becomes difficult. Also, a major thing that I wanted to share was that for around six to seven months of our agency and having worked with some of the biggest brands, we didn't even have a proper official website. Many startups and many agencies fall into the trap of creating the best website, creating the best pitch. What we focused on was the things that really matter. The clients don't care about the website. They don't care about fancy different things. But what they care about is your work. If your work is really good, you will get clients like this. And then we reached my third year where I started forming a community of really like-minded people who are interested in earning money online, maybe freelancing or even in innovative tech. All of these people are the cream of the cream audience. When you come over on my Discord or Telegram, you will see some of the greatest minds over there. And then with this community, I started to build my own platform. Now on this platform, I started posting courses which were actionable. For example, I recently posted a guide to freelancing course. Now this course is not like your other freelancing courses where they just talk about, you know, cold emails or some templates that they share with you and all of these things. What I talk about are actionable points. Every single week, there is one specific project that you need to do. And these are projects including creating your portfolio website or or maybe even approaching your clients and all of these different things. So that's where I'm headed right now. I'll be building up this platform where we talk about actionable points. We actually build out stuff in real time. And uh, that's what I will be doing for the next three to four months. Let's see how it goes. And you can check out this particular video wherein I've talked about how I built my entire marketing agency and how you can do.